Bravo rose to fame as one of the outrageous cast members on MTV's Jackass, where he participated in extreme stunts and pranks purely for the entertainment of it all. <laughs> Steve-O is now bringing everything he learned in his days as a jackass to a new series on action called Killer Karaoke. Take a look. Oh, and Steve-O joins us now. How are you, brother? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Good to have you. It's funny to hear you say that I rose. I think I sunk to fame. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were at the right place at the right time. Yeah. Right I, I, I was saying to you during the break that I remember watching that show when it first came out, and literally, it was so groundbreaking. Like, I had really <laughs> rarely seen anything like it before. Yeah. How did you get involved? Were you always that guy? Like, in your life that would just do anything? Sort of, yeah. Um, I lacked attention from my parents as a child. <laughs> <laughs> you made up for it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess it all started for me. I stole a video camera um, from my father. The, when I was 15 years old, he won in a golf tournament. And I snatched it. I started making videos. Um, graduated from high school, and I went to University of Miami. I couldn't bring myself to go to class. And I, you know, I couldn't keep a job, and I felt like the only thing I was passionate about was was doing stupid stuff and videotaping it. And so I decided that was going to be my career. And who knew that you could I, make this could big career out of it? I know. So how did you end up meeting Johnny Knoxville and like that whole thing? We were uh, contributing <clears throat> stunts and stuff for. Um, a skateboard magazine and, and a, a video series. And the guy in charge of the videos, he reached out to his buddy Spike Jones and he said, you know, Spike, everybody loves our naughty videos, but nobody cares about the skateboarding. So I think if we just remove the skateboarding, then what's left over could make a great TV show. Yeah. And right. that was how it happened. But did you have control over what what ultimately wound up on air? I mean, there must have been things that were pitched that somebody somebody in the legal department said, well, well, wait a minute. Sure. You must have been fighting lawyers all every step of the way. Well, that wasn't my job. Right. <laughs> my job was just to, to keep doing dumb stuff and hope that... Uh, that Did you would... ever say no? Yeah, the, um, famously, in, in the, 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 the grand finale of our first Jackass movie, there was a stunt where... Um, I was supposed to take a, a, a small matchbox car and oh. insert it into my butt right. and then go to get an x-ray complaining of lower that. back pain. I saw pain. that movie. Right. Other people did it, but you wouldn't do it. Right, because my, my father's extremely homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want his son putting anything up his butt. Oh my God. So, yeah. Somehow at that it. point, that's where you had to draw the right, leeches right. on the eyes. Right. And I'm sorry to even say that on this reputable morning okay. show. <laughs> that's great fatherly advice, though. It right? is, yeah. Right. Uh, you don't have children, do you? I do not, no. no that's good. Mm. Yeah. But you have a nephew, don't you? I do, I do. I have a niece and a nephew. Yeah. But you know what, yeah. Steve-O? A lot of these new reality shows, right, they got to take it. They got to do three, four takes because they're pushing it. That's not really who they are. You right. know, I don't know, Jersey Shore, there's a new West Virginia reality show coming on, and they say yeah. it's not for real. When you were out there doing uh, everything on Jackass, were, did you have to take a lot of takes, and, or, or was this all you guys coming up with the ideas, or any of it was, was it sent to you guys? It was, it was all very real, mm -hmm. um, and in a lot of cases, we did have to do more than one take. I, I mean, uh, if, if, if the director's not happy and he says, do it again, you know, a lot, a lot of these things that even hurt really badly were, well, that happened over and over. Do it again. You yeah. just feel no pain. It, no, you, that's not true. I think if, 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 if the guys and myself, if we really didn't feel any pain, yeah. we'd be terribly boring to watch because right, yeah, there'd be no reaction. There'd be no reaction. Right. I want to talk to you a little bit about <laughs> both of the things, killer karaoke, but first you're doing uh, stand-up. That's right. Yeah. At Yuck Yucks uh -huh. tonight and tomorrow. And so where does that, like, where does that material come from? What kind of, <laughs> how, what kind of comedian are you? Uh, you know, I, my, my, my material is, is largely based on my experience as a semi-famous drug-addicted male slut. Right. You <laughs> yeah. cleaned some of that up, though, right? I, I have, yeah. I've been, I've, been, I'm, I've been vegan for over three years now. Um, I've been clean and sober for almost five years now. And, um, yeah, I gave up coffee and soda. If I could just quit Internet porn. 
I'd be like a saint or you'd something. You'd be like straight and narrow. Why Why did you do it? Why did you give it up? Uh, you Was know, it just I taking just, control of your life? I reached a point where, where uh, I think sobriety just sort of pit chose me. I, it wasn't really my choice. I just was at the end of the line, right. and it was time. Yeah. At, a, at a certain point, you either get better or you die, and, and I, was, I was at that you point. You knew you were there. How's your body yeah. now? You know, I've, uh, except for, um, you know, broken teeth and fake teeth and, 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 you know, horrible tattoos, I've pretty much recovered from everything without any permanent injury. But I do have an esoph esophageal condition, and so I have to keep close tabs on that. But other than that, I'm in pretty good shape. And killer karaoke? Can it, you explain the premise <laughs> a little bit more of that He's one? Just laughing. <laughs> killer karaoke is uh, it, it's a show where people sing karaoke while horrible things happen to them. And, um, you know, I, I would say it's an exercise in exploiting people's willingness to sacrifice their dignity and well-being to be on television. Well, God knows there's enough of that around. <laughs> right. If someone's going to mentor people in that, it should probably right. be you. <laughs> exactly. It's a new low. They must I, sign a stack of waivers like that. I think that the waivers are pretty comprehensive, yeah. <laughs> but wait, wait, okay, so how do you hatch a concept like this? I always think, are you sitting around having drinks and, and thinking, okay, you know what would be really great? Karaoke's cheesy enough, right? Let's put them through something like this. Well, I would love to take credit for, for coming up with the concept, but it actually originated in, uh, it originated over in England, as many shows do. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I just think it's great, and I, you know, the, the New York Times actually called Killer Karaoke, quote, the greatest show in television history, <laughs> <laughs> which I think I, I, is I a slight yes, overstatement, yeah. but, um, You're humble. But, it, but it's great, you know, we see the, 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 the television airwaves are so saturated with singing competition shows, and yeah. you know, that, that format of television needed a swift kick in the nuts. For sure. I was happy to, to deliver that. Because there's so <laughs> much phony baloney drama in some of those shows. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, the backstories are juiced up, and it's all like, right. please. But how please. do you win at, at Killer Karaoke? Uh, the audience votes um, one singer through each round. And if, you're, if you keep singing, no matter what the, con the conditions, uh, if you're committed to your performance, then, then you're going to win over the crowd and... and, and Get, get voted through. There's three rounds of competition, and one singer goes through each round, and then the, the, the final is one person wins the whole show, and they can win up to $10,000. Unbelievable. I would like to say, uh, this I is, uh, yeah. right? I think that's the funniest thing about it is that it's like not that big of a pot. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, they're very careful to, to say up yeah. to $10,000 because that's their way of saying no chance anybody's going to win $10,000. I think the most anybody won was about 7000 That wouldn't even cover your medical bill. <laughs> <laughs> right, but nobody's doing it for the money. They really are just trying to be on television. I believe that, yeah. I, I swear, I was saying this to you, and I mean it. I wish I would have had a camera, because I was walking down through our little Santa's workshop that we built, and there's all those cutesy, cute little dancers back there. Right. And then Steve-O was sitting in a chair by, like, the Santa's desk, like this, <laughs> surrounded by all those little kids. Right. I'm like, and if I had that picture, I would blow it up and hang it on my wall. That's the most surreal and, thing I've ever seen. And then I felt the need to steal Santa's clothes from, from the, from the, the, the work, little work set workout, there, yeah. right? I had to because I, I realized I showed up with nothing but a little t-shirt and all of these horribly offensive tattoos. Right. Yeah. So I decided that the right oh, thing thanks. to do well, with all those little girls around and, and being on this oh, reputable uh, morning show. And they say and, you have no discretion. Right. So, <laughs> right? So, so I stole Santa's clothes so, and covered up my, na my naughty tattoos. From the back area. Well, you look great in it. Thanks, well, thank man. You. It's great to meet you. I've been a fan for a long time. Right. Steve-O, he is at Yuck Yucks Ajax tonight. Yep. Um, only the early show? Is yeah, uh, all the shows are sold out except for the late show tonight, Friday night, 10.30 uh, p.m. I think there's still some tickets. So okay. hurry up and get them, and it's going to be naughty. Yucky Yucks Ajax, <laughs> check it out. Right. Killer Karaoke again premiering January 8th on Action. We'll be